Hallo zusammen, ich bin hier der Giacomo von 77 Designs. Bin hier in Cape Hey, Crazy, so what I gotta do? And, uh, I gotta have a plan for a bar. What are you doing here? Uh, oh, ja. Yeah. Uh, ich glaube, ich muss auch Englisch weitermachen. Spying. Yeah, I'm spying, I'm trying to figure out some details. Look at that, what's going on? You tell them about the bar? You know, I'm like, yeah. I'm oh them, yeah, boy, not them. taking all the credit for all the hard work, I hope. No, <laughs> you're the common experts. Yeah, we well. Just, we just know aluminium and we know lightweight. I think we should share with them what we've been up to. Yeah. All right. We did some work, like, I guess over the last year. It's been about a year, hasn't it? It's yeah. been a long project. We've been working hard. Lots of hard work from Fraser. Yeah. Lots of hard work from you. Some direction from me, I hope. <laughs> Maybe I got in the way. But uh, yeah, products, products ready. Here we are. Products ready. We have some, yeah, some story to tell. Yeah, let's take them through it. How's it tested? How it's tested? What's the benefits? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I came along having the idea of a one-piece stem. Actually, got inspired by other companies doing this design and establishing it again. I was totally focusing on how I can make it possible that the bar slides in with ease, like, like I'm that easy. Yeah. Over, the, over the clamp, or over, over the, the band over, is a big the problem, band. right? And um, once we figured out that, we could even make like 35 millimeter rise and it just fills out like, absolutely flawless. And how did I do that? I added a ring, an aluminium ring, which adds other benefits that we can explain later. But I got stuck on one point and that was like how to fix it, how to center it and how to avoid rotation. Slipping. That's why these guys had a great idea, so I passed. Yeah, so when you came to us with the design, it was an awesome design. We liked it that you could build such a lightweight stem, but with the actual retention system uh, not slipping and sliding left to right and making sure you had it centered on the bar, we were kind of struggling with what we were going to do there. Uh, and what we did is we decided to come up with this location nipple, uh, which is a, an extruded part in the carbon layout process um, that we can wrap that nipple around uh, so it kind of locks it in place, keeps it from spinning on the carbon, and also centers the clamping surface for the bar. So in the end, what's happened is you maximize the, the clamping surface area of the, uh, the aluminum sleeve here, but then when you clamp it down with a stem, you actually lock it in place, uh, giving you the best possible clamping situation without having to worry about crimping on the carbon at all. So it's a, it's a really cool, unique design that solves an issue of someone that's going to go monkey wrench on a, on a, a stem bolt um, and have to worry about fatiguing the carbon around here uh, at that area. So it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, good way to uh, solve that problem. So that's the unique character is what you know, Yakimos brought to us as he said, 35 mil bars, a lot of people will say are inherently really, really stiff um, for a certain reason and 31 8 is really flexible so he decided to come to us with a 33 so we're right in between which some would say is a new standard but we're not that kind of company to create a new standard and I don't think Yakima wants to be the guy that creates a new standard either no. so no. it's a 35 mil clamp uh, but a 33 mil bar which so it's never really been done in the industry yet so um, bars are generally a very untouched situation where a lot of people don't focus a lot of attention on how to progress with engineering and design as far as carbon goes as well. And I think that uh, we spent, you know, the better part of six six months now, six, seven months, what are we on, seven months now? Yeah. This, this is the seventh month of engineering to make this bar exactly the way we believe it should run. So Fran, what do you want to tell them more about the stiffness levels that you're trying to achieve with the bar? Um, so yeah, we're basically trying not to make it too stiff and too rigid. A lot of 35 mil bars at the moment, um, so it does help having a sleeve and a slightly smaller diameter. Uh, but the main thing, yeah, was just making the bar really strong as well. That's like our main goal. So what do we get good weight and uh, the super high strength on it? And we test it to what to achieve. Like where we say this is where we know it's a, a certain strength. What did we use to get to that? I mean, I know not everybody knows that. A bar has, there are standards out there in the industry to meet and these companies have set the standards and we achieved it with which test? So we're kind of following guidelines from like the EFB testing, um, so that's similar to what Clapham will go through with his 35 mil stem or the, um, 
So it'd be pretty rigorous test. Most companies out there would look at what like an ISO test, which is pretty easy test to pass. We think that that's not really a fair test or a fair shake for what a bar is going to see as far as abuse these days. Um, and EFB is a quite yeah, a big it step up. Yeah, to downhill, like covers all the low cases of a downhill race kind of. Yeah. So yeah, we're confident it's a um, strong bar for pretty much every discipline and um, anything you can throw at it. So what's what's our end yield as far as when we design the bar, we know how far we can go before we start to see issues in the carbon or starts to break down and the system starts to collapse. What kind of, what would a person have to put as far as a force goes into the bar on either side? Um, you'd be looking at probably like 10 G loading. 10 G. Yeah. So do you think anybody could hang on at 10 G? Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. So yeah, here we are, our uh, test rigs. So to get our development a bit faster, we built our own test rig so we could do all the kind of learning, break lots of bars, find out the best, or where they break, how to make them stronger. Yeah, um, I guess you break like 10 bars, different manufacturers or more. Yeah, just see where the competition's at, test a lot of hours, probably yeah. 40, 50 Copy bars. stiffnesses, etc. Yeah. So these guys did a whole lot of research to, to really like know what's going on in the yeah. world. Make sure we're uh, competitive and being at least being everyone's bars in terms of strength and um, ride feel as well, so we want to definitely want to have the best bars to yeah. pass it. Now we just show you some cycles and show you like how mad this looks like. Handmade, 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 handmade. Welcome to the family. Yeah, Welcome to our family. family.